we're gonna start on all fours and we're gonna start with a few cat cows inhaling in and exhale out getting into your body inhaling in this is always just such a great time in the beginning of the workout to set an intention for your class because I truly believe that your intention really sets the direction of your life and so I want you to also practice that here in your class so what is your intention for your class today is your intention to speak positively to yourself is your intention to um, to just not give up to to just do it, to be here, to be present, you know, to leave everything outside the door, off of your mat. Whatever it is, choose that for yourself right now. Maybe it's just to relax, to have fun, to find joy in moving your body, your gorgeously amazing body. Okay, so let's just kind of move it around a little bit, get into your body, just going side to side. And let's do a little wave here, I love this wave here like this so you come into like a lazy up dog oh I did just see some dolphins all right and come back all the way back good and you're gonna do a big spinal wave let the let the pelvis come to the floor lift the chest up squeeze the shoulder blades together and then all the way back nice this is so good for your spine it's like giving yourself a little massage as if you're going to the chiropractor right now but you can do it right here on your mat okay two more just like that inhale in squeeze the shoulder blades together lift the heart up ah oh, feels so good and last one inhale in and exhale come on to all fours now we're going to move into a tiger curl so hands on these shoulders knees under hips inhale in reach long pull everything together now right here elbow touches knee push the floor away okay create space don't be sinking down here like this use your arm push the floor away good here we go five like that and five and reach four and reach three and two and one hold it here hold 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 feel like someone's pulling your arm and someone's pulling your leg back nice now we're going to open to the side oh boy here we go this is where it starts to get good and five and open and four and open Ooh, three try not to let the belly sag we're going to be doing a lot of core today two and open and one reach it to the side good we're going to tap the foot down and lift just five right there five Ooh, four feel those abs work like crazy three maybe the, the leg just comes off just an inch two and one back to center and in okay shake that out maybe shake out the wrist give a little stretch there okay let's go to the other side reach arm forward leg back inhale in exhale create that space push the floor away create the space yourself pull the belly in nice five and four and three two and one hold it here open it up to the side yes there we go and five feel like someone's pulling your arm and someone's pulling your leg getting longer with each breath four and reach three Whew. two feel that core starting to work a lot <laughs> And last one, hold it. We're gonna tap the foot down to the side and lift for five and four and three, two and one. Swing it back around, back into a tabletop position and child's pose, reach your arms forward. Beautiful work, feeling the body starting to warm up and turn on, just feeling it's a whole sense of appreciation for your body. Okay, so now we're going to extend the right leg long, lift up tall, and then we're gonna gradually come all the way up into a three-legged dog. Hold it there. Nice, bend the knee, open up the hip. I am gonna put in some stretches here for you so that you can strengthen, that's why I call it strengthen and lengthen. 
Lengthen those muscles as we strengthen them. Good, we're gonna reach forward, get long through the body as you shift forward into that three-legged or three-point plank and up. Good, and five, and up. I know you guys love a challenge. Four, and up, and three, and up, and two, and one, hold it here. Good, just little taps over the ankle and then tap it side for five and four and three. Feel those inner thighs work like crazy. Two and one, back to three-legged dog and switch the legs. Here we go, other side, inhale in. Exhale, bend the knee, open up the hip, just Allow your body to kind of move into what it needs to. Beautiful work. And then we're gonna reach it all the way forward. Feel like you're getting longer. Someone's pulling your toe, someone's pulling the crown of your head. And let's go for five. And up. Four. And up. Whew. Three. You can always come down to your knee if you need to right here, okay? a great modification two and one hold it here we're gonna cross over that ankle tap out for five and four you're doing awesome three this is not easy two and one hold the high plank back to downward facing dog nice let's walk our feet all the way up to the top of the mat and we're gonna take the legs out nice and wide. Whew. Okay, grab opposite elbows and just allow your head to sink down. Feel the vertebrae stretch and release. Bend the knees, stay down with the chest and straighten the legs, let the head be heavy. Good, four. This one always feels so good. Three, I like to grab onto elbows because it just deepens the stretch. Two. And one, come all the way down now into a nice little yogi squat here. Press the elbows into your knees, lift the heart up and allow yourself to just stretch and release here. Take a nice big inhale in. Just soak up this beautiful view in front of us. Place the hands down and roll all the way up. Nice, all the way up to the top. Inhale in, reach the arms up. We're gonna take a nice flat back forward, reach forward, bend the knees, and then come all the way back up again. Good, inhale in, exhale, flat back, and then come all the way down and roll on up. You don't have to bend the knees as much. Inhale, exhale. Good, three more, just like this, three. And up, and two, really stretch through the fingertips, all the way up, and reach, and all the way up, beautiful. Now we're gonna take a nice big squat here, so reach the arms back behind you, and come up for 10, and up, nine, eight, let's build up some heat, seven, and up, six, Five, four, good, three, two, and one. Hold it here, hold, little pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna reach one arm forward, one arm back, and we're just gonna switch for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one. Reach the arms up overhead. Little pulses right here for 10, nine, eight. Get lower, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stand it all the way up. Beautiful. Bring the feet together. Fold all the way down. Nice stretch right here. Release through the body. And then you're gonna bend the knees, sit the booty down. 
All right. Now we're gonna take a few cat cows here on our hips, on our booties. We're gonna lift on up. Inhale in, exhale, curve the spine. Good, so we're doing this cat cow here on our tailbone. Feels really, really good. Inhale in. So use your thighs, exhale. Use your thighs to go a little bit further and release that spine. Good. A lot of good spinal work here in this class. I think it feels so, so good. We get so stuck in very rigid positions, right? Sitting, even just running. Running is still just in the same plane. So we gotta move our joints around so that they don't lose their mobility. Okay, let's come back into our C curve. Hold it here. Take a ballet, rounded arm position here. Elbows up, little pulses back for eight and seven. Here we go into our core and five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna twist here, staying low for eight, seven, six, five, good, four, three, and two, and one. Good, now we're gonna expand the arms. Woo! That's a tough one. Twist, reach, circle, and twist. Reach, circle, and around. Definitely feeling this here. Good, come back to the center. Hold little pulses for eight, seven, six. Belly button to spine, five, four, three, two, one. Come all the way up. Take a little breather. <sighs> nice job. Okay, so we're gonna come back into that C curve one more time. So think about pulling the belly button under, pulling in, tailbone underneath, ribs are down. Remember, to give that little cough <laughs> to find where the rib placement goes, okay? A little fake cough there. I love doing that one. Hold it here. And we're just gonna take the arms, tap one arm at the floor, the other one comes up by the ear. Good, for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna take both arms forward, both arms up. Down and up, eight. This is where it gets tough. Seven, nothing moves but the arms, I know. Six, Woo! lots of good core work. You can take a break if you need to. Five, and up. Four, squeeze those knees together. It'll help activate the inner thighs. Three, and two, and one, hold it here slowly, nice and slow. So rolling up one vertebrae at a time, right here, inhale in, exhale, press the spine into the floor, and roll all the way up, beautiful. Lowering all the way down. Now you can either stay here, or if you wanna add straight legs, which is a little bit more challenging, join me now with the legs straight, inhale, exhale, and we're gonna fold all the way forward over the legs and then slowly roll all the way down. Squeeze the inner thighs together and exhale. Make sure you're not using your arms as momentum, right? They move really, really nice and slow, even slower than you wanna move. And then you'll know that you're doing it correctly because your body wants to speed up through these movements and that's an indication that there's weakness there, right? If your body just kind of wants to jerk through it, then you know that that's a, an area that you get to work on, that you get to get stronger in. Good. And rolling it up. Two more, just like that. Squeeze those inner thighs together. So when I started doing Pilates like this, I really noticed that my whole body started to change. Everything just felt not only the way it felt, but the way it looked too. Everything just felt more integrated 
everything felt more cohesive, like I could move my body, I had more control over my body. And I noticed, of course, I got way more toned in the way I like to, right, with long, lean muscles. Okay, now we're gonna add a leg. Add a leg, this time we're gonna go up towards the toe, lowering down. Beautiful, inhale, and exhale, and lower. Inhale, and exhale. So I love this one, because then you start to use the thigh, you use the quad, using our thighs. Point your toes, nice and beautiful, long line. Reach, reach, reach towards the toes. Lowering down. Nice. Inhale. And exhale. Lots of core today. Good. Inhale. And exhale. Nice. All right. This time we're going to hold up at the top. Hold up at the top. Nice. Grab onto the leg. Now, see if you can lengthen out through the spine. You can bend and straighten the leg right here to stretch. Now just feel the stretch, circle out the foot, lift up tall through the crown of the head, and circle the leg the other way. Nice, hold it here. Now you might just stay here. If you can bring your leg closer, go ahead and bring it closer all the way in. Now stay here and just slowly roll all the way back down to your mat, holding onto your ankle. Make it as smooth as you can, all the way down to the floor, good. Now hold it here for a nice leg stretch. So if this is a little bit challenging for you, you could just grab the leg a little bit lower. You could even take a yoga strap, right? You can put it over your heel and stretch that way as well. But otherwise, just stay here, enjoy the stretch. Breathing in, breathing out, I love this one. Just because again, it like lengthens the body as you strengthen it. All right, let's switch sides. So let's move on to the other leg. Reach the right leg up. Oh no, wait, we got to roll up to it first. Here we go. Reach all the way up. Good, hold, hold, hold. And then grab onto the leg, lengthen through. Nice, reach out through the crown of the head. Same thing here, if this is too much, just lower the leg down, right? You just find what works for you. Find the stretch, circle out the leg. Beautiful. I'm sure you know that I love to stretch. It feels so, so good in the body. And it's okay, just remember, even if you're not flexible, your body changes. So the more you do this, the more your body will open up. Good, let's pull the leg in as much as you can. Nice job. And release, good. Just lift the chest up really, really tall and then pull the leg in. And let's slowly, slowly, slowly lower down one vertebrae at a time. Try not to move fast in any place. And let's hold the stretch here. Good, find the stretch. Nice big deep breaths in, exhale. Just smell the salty air. Feel the sun on your skin. Feel the fresh air around your body. Hear the waves crashing. Good, and let that go. All right, we're gonna pull our knees in towards our chest. So we got a good hamstring stretch there. So we're gonna go into our single leg stretches, holding, in, holding the leg in like this, little pulse twice and switch pulse twice, just like this, for 10, and nine, and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. If you can let go of the arms, same thing here like this, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one more set of 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull the knees in towards your chest. And we're gonna move into our hundreds. So pull the knees in towards your chest. 
Lift the head and chest up off the floor. Chin is in towards your chest here. And you're gonna extend the legs. Reach your arms. Three, four, exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. So if you need to modify, you could just bring the knees into tabletop. Exhale, two, three, four. You can also modify by holding onto one side and pumping the other side, right? So just get yourself into this position, but giving yourself a little bit more support. Good, keep going. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Four more times. Good, keep going. These are always so hard for me. Two, three, four. Exhale, two, two more. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, two, three, four. And pull it in. Whew. Those are so, so challenging there. Let's come into a nice little happy baby pose. Good, to release the inner thighs, release the low back. And let's take a little twist side to side. I always feel it's good to rock side to side. Beautiful. All right, bring the knees in and we're gonna roll on up, moving into a little bit of arms and obliques. Okay, so we've done a lot already and we've got just a little bit more to go. Okay, so come onto the hands and we're gonna come back into a downward facing dog. Hopefully you're starting to feel strong. And remember, strength takes time. The body needs time. Let's roll forward into a high plank pose. Now, you can either stay up on your toes or on your knees. Okay, we're gonna just do a little baby pulse here, a little push up. Turn over onto your legs. So my hips are facing forward. My feet are one in front of the other. Reach up, place the hand down, little push up, and switch sides, okay? Here we go, we're gonna do 10 like that. And 10, and up, nice and slow, controlled. Nine, and up, eight, and up, and seven, and up, six, and up, good, five, I keep dropping sand onto my face. <laughs> Good. And four. And up. Three. And up. Two. Up. One. And up. Nice, let's hold right here in the middle. We're gonna do 10 little push-ups right here. You can put your knees down right here if you need to, otherwise on your toes. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn it over to the side, here we go. Hold it here. We're gonna lift up and lower down. Okay, all the way down, all the way up. And let's go. Like a mermaid here, five and four. Obliques and arms working here, three. You could always you do it on the knees as well to modify here. Two and one, let's go to the other side. Five on the other side. Put the knees down if you need to. And five. Four, three, two, and one. Good, come back into high plank pose. Hold, 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 you've got this. We're gonna shift forward and back 10 times. And 10, nine, feel those arms working. Push the floor away, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Good, come back into a child's pose. Whew. Hold it right here, bring the arms overhead. Allow the head to just come down to the mat. 
That was so, so good, I know. Okay, let's come on up. We've got another arm exercise. So let's have the fingertips facing towards the booty. Lift up high into a reverse tabletop position. Bend the elbows back, so squeeze the elbows together. Shoulders are squeezing together, so no rounded shoulders, okay? That's the biggest thing I see. You gotta squeeze them together, lift the chest up, even as you lower down, right? My chest is up, and then tap opposite leg, like that, okay? We're gonna do 10 times like this. If it's too much to lift the leg, then just focus on the tricep dips, okay? That's your modification. Here we go, and 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, hold on to that core. Two, one, good, we're gonna do little pulses here for 10, nine, keep the butt up, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, we're gonna lift up, here we go, last, 10, nine, eight, Seven, you're just doing tricep dips if this is too much again. Six, five, four, three, two, whew, and one. Good job. Okay, we're switching gears. We're gonna go onto our side now into some leg exercises. Okay, so we're gonna be in a tabletop position here so legs are at 90 hands are behind the head lift the leg up just like this lower down 10 times 10 9 8 7 this is also a really great way to mobilize your hips five people are always like I have such tight hips and strengthening them while opening them moving them into different ranges of motion are amazing for hip health three two one, we're gonna tap toes, tap knee, tap toe, tap knee. Here we go, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. From here, you're gonna extend out to the side 10 times just like that. 10, nine, Eight, keep the chest open. Seven, ribs are down. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it here. Little kicks. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. We're going to tap the toes together and then extend. Ten, Nine, eight, seven, six. So I open the hip, close the hip. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach, nice. Come back into the hydrant. So we're gonna do that again. 10, same side, nine, Eight, seven, this is where you're gonna feel it. Six, five, four, draw the hips, uh, ribs down. Three, two, and one. You feeling it now? I bet you are. And 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, whoo, four, three, two, and one. Good, now we're gonna extend long, tap the knees together. Here we go, 10 and nine. The booty is on fire. Eight, seven, six. This is why Pilates is so amazing because it's so gentle on the body while also so effective, right? We're opening up the hips, creating mobility creating strength, toning, all the good things that you want from a workout, right? That's why I love it. I don't walk away feeling tighter. I feel looser. I feel more open. I feel more free. Two and one while also feeling strong. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Whew. Okay, this is our last little bit here on this side. I know the second time is always such a burner. 10, so open the knee. Nine, and then close it. Eight, seven, six, and five. So you do kind of have to roll your chest forward a bit, but not too much, right? Three, and two, and one. Okay, let's go into the other side. Feels so good in a weird way, right? Okay, so come on to your side here. All right, let's lay on our side. So knees are stacked right on top of each other. Hips are also stacked right on top of each other. And let's go. Now you know what's coming up. Eight, seven. So maybe your intention for class today was to find joy in the movement, right? This would be a good time. Right, to find joy no matter the circumstance. Because really when you think about it, if you're here working out with me, I mean, things are pretty good, right? So yeah, we could definitely find a lot of things to complain about. There's always something to complain about, but it doesn't really serve us anything. Good, lower, bring the toes together and then knees together. So I've really had to get into a practice of Always finding a way to enjoy even things that you don't enjoy, right? It's such a challenge, six and five. Because if, if you're looking for something to complain about, you'll find it, right? So that's why I challenge myself to find something to be joyful about, to be happy about. Three and two and one. Here we go, extend, ooh! I know it's also burning because we worked the other side, so that stabilizer hip is still working. Eight, seven, and six. Make sure you're really going to the straight legs as I engage my quad a little bit. Five, four, three, two, one. Little pulses, 10, nine, eight, seven. Ribs in, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna tap the toes together and extend for 10, Whew. nine, good, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, good. Okay, so now we're gonna do that again. I know this is where it really starts to burn. You've got it though. Let's go for 10 and nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna tap the knee, tap the toe 10 times. 10, nine, eight, seven, mobilizing the hip, six, while strengthening it, five, Four, three, two, one. Woo. This is burning a lot. Here we go. And ten. So the knee is, so keep that toe up there like that. Nine, eight, seven. Find joy in the burn. Six, five, four. You've got this. Three, two, one, Whew, little pulses, I almost forgot. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Tap the toes, this is it. I know, I'm burning. 10, but just imagine how good you're gonna feel after. Eight, seven, really targeting those glutes as well, of course. Six, outer hips, five, Four, keep the body long. Three, two, and one. Woo, you did it. You did it. Okay, we're gonna take a little much needed stretch here. So let's come on to our hands. Tuck your toes under, and we're gonna take a figure four stretch. 
right here. I love taking this one. Oh my goodness, wow. Ah. Nice, okay, let's go to the other side. Take a nice big deep breath in. Release those hips. We did a lot of work there on those outer glutes. Just kind of shake it out. All right. Nice. So I'm gonna challenge you here with another core work. So we're gonna just finish off with our core. Nice little finisher series to end us off. So inhale, exhale, roll yourself all the way up. And then you're gonna cross your left leg over your right leg here. So we're gonna go into this teaser plow series that I love and it's definitely a challenge but I know you love being challenged. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll all the way down and begin up just like this and then press into the hands, press the shoulders together to lift yourself up overhead like that. Legs are parallel to the ground and the legs open close and then slowly, one vertebrae at a time, roll all the way down, and then you're gonna land in your teaser. And now you can hold here with your hands, you can hold your legs, or you can reach forward towards the toes. Okay, so I know this is challenging, so join me now. This is meant to challenge you. I love giving you something to work. And just remember, if you find something that's difficult for you, that's okay. Your body changes every day. And if you work at it, you will get stronger. You will be able to do it. It's inevitable. It's a, it's a definite outcome, right? I think that's why I love working out so much because I feel like I know the path. If I just stick with it, if I just keep showing up, I will get there. And same thing here. If this is difficult for you, if you feel tight, if you don't feel strong enough, you just keep coming back. You just keep doing it again and again, and eventually you will get it. Good. And we just have to stay open to being finding the places that we're weak, finding the places that challenge us and can grow it. We all have places and areas, room for improvements, right? Definitely. All right, a few more times. I love this move, it just feels so graceful. It's a fun way to work out. Right? All right, we've got our last one. Oops, I forgot the teaser hold. Last one right here. All the way back. Switch. And teaser hold right here. And up. And forward fold. Good, go ahead and uncross the legs. Nice work. You did such an amazing job with that. Okay, we've got one last move right here together. And we're gonna place the elbows down, lift up into our forearm plank, hold. I always love giving you a finisher here. Hold, hold, hold. So this is your first step here, is holding your forearm plank. Forearms are parallel to one another. If this is too much, just go ahead and put the knees down to modify, okay? Now, if you'd like a little challenge, join me here where my knee is gonna touch my tricep and then I'm going to switch to the other leg. Touch and back, touch and back. Here we go, 10 times. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Keep holding, four. We're gonna keep holding the forearm plank. Three, don't come down. Stay up, two, stay up, up, up. One, stay up here, hold. Nice, hold for 10, nine, we're gonna keep holding, eight, seven, we've got one more move here, six, five, four, three. Now we're gonna go shift forward and back, here we go. 10, and if you're on your knees, you just keep holding on your knees. You work on getting stronger. Eight, and seven, this is challenging. Six, you've got this, five, we've got one more hold, and then you are done with your class. Three, two, and one, hold. Last 10, can you push the way, push away from the floor more? Seven, six, belly up, five, booty down, four, three, two, one, and you are done. Come into the Sphinx pose, let's do a few stretches here together to cool down. 
lift on up onto the hands. I think that always feels so, so, so good. Let's take a shoulder stretch. I love this one where our hands come out into a big T like this. Lift the left leg up, uh, twist, that feels so nice. And tap down, other way. Uh, feels really, really good, right? We did so much work. Think about from the beginning of class, seems like a long time ago now, right? We worked our core, we worked our legs, our glutes, opened up our hips, created strong hips, our arms, obliques. Wow, we really got into the whole body without any equipment, which I love. Just your own body weight. All right, let's do, let's come onto our backs. Let's do another figure four stretch since I know we did do those glute exercises that were pretty intense. So pull the knee in towards your chest and release the head back. Ah, this one feels so good. Ah, just imagine you're here with me here in Malibu, letting the sun shine on your skin, feeling the sea breeze here in the ocean. All right, now we're gonna cross the legs all the way and take a nice twist over. Ah, that feels so good, right? And that low back. Allow yourself to just sink heavy into your mat. And just remember, like I said earlier, just continue to show up. Put your workouts into your calendar, schedule them in. You know, in the Stretchy Fit app, you can schedule your classes into your calendar so that you can be reminded an hour before class starts and also 12 hours before class starts. Keep yourself accountable that way. I know if something's not in my calendar, it doesn't happen. It really doesn't. So stick with it. Every Sunday, I like to plan out my workouts for the week. So it's one less thing I have to think about each day. I just know already that day what I'm doing because I plan it on Sunday and Sunday comes, guess what, every week, right? You know when it's coming. So just, just schedule out some time on Sundays to get your classes into your calendar. All right, my stretchy babe, you did an amazing job today. I'm so proud of you and uh, keep at it, keep getting stronger and I'll see you in our next workout. See you next time, bye. Before you go, if you know that you're someone who's struggling to stay consistent in your workouts and you know that this is keeping you from having the body and confidence that you deserve, you might be struggling with something called a lack of accountability, which is exactly why I created my Stretchy Fit app to give you that structure and accountability so that you can succeed in your goals. Inside, you're gonna find customizable workout plans, a daily workout schedule, progress tracking, tools to keep you accountable, recipes, and the amazing Stretchy Babe community who are literally crushing their goals every single day. So if you're ready to upgrade yourself because you're worth it and you want to give yourself the chance to succeed and take your fitness to the next level, then try my app absolutely risk-free for seven days. After that, it's just $9.99 a month. That's like the price of a smoothie and you are definitely worth that. So click the link below. Join me now. I'll see you inside. Bye.